What's up guys? Today we have a special video featuring the brand new Xbox One S. This is the 2 terabyte model. Massive thanks to Xbox for sending this thing out to me. I wanted to unbox it for you guys and review it. I know it's brand new, so if you do want to pick it up, I'll have the link for that in the description down below. Let's jump into this guy and just check this thing out. Before we do, I just want to make a cool, cool little comparison. This is an Xbox One S in its box still. That's that big. The old Xbox One is that big. It's about the size of the box that comes in. Also, if you do want to use the Xbox One, you need that. That is a power cord or a power brick that you need for that. Out with the old and in with the new. Let's jump into this Xbox One S and see what it's all about. So this Xbox One S, one of the things that's really cool is obviously you don't need that power brick that I just spoke about. This Xbox One S is actually 40% smaller than that old Xbox. And when I first saw it for the first time ever, it was just like, oh my God, how's it even run stuff? So it, you got some instructions in there. Nothing too complicated for an Xbox One. It also comes with a brand new controller, which is actually really nice. So we'll get into that. Oh, it got, they gave me 14 days of Xbox Live. I'm gonna have to cover up that code. So in here we have, oh, this is a stand for the brand new Xbox One S because one of the features for the brand new Xbox One S is that it can stand upright. <laughs> Apparently he wants to be in the video too. One of the complaints with the old Xbox One is that you had to have it sitting like this or else it would just not work. You wouldn't be able to tilt it vertical up and it just, it just didn't work. So anyways, you now get that. That will allow your Xbox One S to stand straight up and it can look really cool. What else is in this box? Let's see. And some health and safety things which no one needs. In here, what do we have in here? A white box. Let's open this guy up and see what's in here. Oh wow. That replaces that. That's ridiculous. And on this side we have ourselves, oh, we've got the brand new Xbox One controller. So this controller is actually really, really cool. They made some slight changes to it. Oh, we've got a battery in there. They made some slight changes to it. The trigger or the, the thumbsticks are now different. It's got a little bit of a grip on the back as well. And it's white and black, which is pretty cool. And this is just an HDMI cable. Wow, everything's so small and compact for this thing. All right, and the bad boy itself, the brand new Xbox One S. When I was at E3 in LA, they had just announced the th this thing and showed it off. There was so much security around this thing, people just taking pictures of it like crazy. Oh my God, look at that thing, it's so small. So let's take a look. That is the Xbox One S as compared to the Xbox One. Yeah, now you can see why we were all freaking out at E3. It's seriously just tiny. This thing has a 500 gig hard drive. This thing has two terabytes. This thing actually starts at 299 and you can go all the way up to 399 for this guy. I'll include all the information you guys need to know about this Xbox One S in the description down below if you do wanna check it out and pick it up for yourself like I said. There are some really cool new features actually with this new Xbox One S. It can run 4K, so if you use uh, Netflix, Netflix now supports 4K, so you can stream your videos in 4K. The same thing with the Blu-ray player, you can do 4K on that as well, which is really nice. The Xbox One S also features HDR and it has HDR support, which is really cool for games and stuff like that. So games like Gears of War 4 and Forza Horizon 3 actually all use HDR in their games now, which is really, really cool. And you'll get all that features and all that support on the Xbox One S. One thing I actually forgot to mention about the controller is it now actually has Bluetooth integrated to it, which means you can use it on your PC or your, or your Windows tablets, which are just really cool. So this Xbox One S comes out today when you guys see this. You can pick up the 500 gigabyte model for $299 or you can get the same one I have here, the two terabyte model for $399. It's just... It's just worth it for the size alone. And if you so feel like it, I don't know where my stand is gone. Ooh, it just sort of slots in, click and click. That is really, really cool. It's just so stable too. It's like, it's not gonna fall over by accident. That's a really cool feature. I don't know if I'll be using it. Actually, yes, I will be using that. It's way better than what I was doing. So that segment you just saw was filmed last week. I've had a bunch of time to play with the brand new Xbox One S since then. And seriously, I've just been enjoying it. It's just exactly what you need an Xbox One to do. Except it comes with a bigger hard drive if you get that one. 
Uh, it comes with a brand new controller, and it can do HDR and 4K stuff. We'll have to see what type of a difference this new console makes in games like Forza Horizon 3 or Gears of War 4 with the whole HDR stuff. I might even make a video solely on that when Forza Horizon 3 does come out and compare the Xbox One with the Xbox One S just to see what type of difference it makes with the HDR and without the HDR. So if you're watching this video in the future, I will make sure to include that link in the description down below and you guys can check it out for yourself. If you're watching this today, you can subscribe and get notified as soon as that video comes out here on the channel. Anyways guys, I really had a blast filming this video, making this video for you guys. It's something I don't usually do unboxing videos, but I thought it was just something cool and massive props again to Xbox for sending this over to me. Anyways guys, more information is going to be in the description down below if you want to know anything else about this Xbox One. Check it out. I'll see you guys in the next one.